Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Razif Hashim, and you're watching Simply Fancy with Cornell. Everybody is looking for that simpler life, but especially when it comes to food, it's not very easy these days because we're always out there, we're always hustling, we're always doing our thing, and we can't eat our home and control our diet. But when we do get home, how do we control our diet? That's really important. Now we've got some amazing recipes for you guys to try out yourselves today using some of the very, very best appliances you can get at home from Cornell. So what are we waiting for? Let's Simply Fancy with Cornell. I'm going to invite my first guest today, Jasmine Soraya. Hey, Woo -hoo. welcome. Like yeah, that. yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's right. The Cornell Walk. Oh, the okay. Cornell Walk. You just invented it. I'm going to be doing that after okay, this. Okay, cool. It's just like that. Okay, cool. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good, thank you. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I know. Everyone's not seen everyone in a while because we've all been stuck at home. And I've been, I've grown a bit fatter. Have so I like not. the whole thing about healthy. Absolutely. And stuff. I know. So today, this, my dear, is kale. Kale. Okay, I'll tell you why I do kale. The thing is, so I. Hot sangre. Eh, no, sedap. Sedap, man. Really, my this God. This one, no, like, you know, I mean, if I'm at a shopping mall, right, I would think this looks like a broccoli. It's true. It's yeah. true. It's, it's a cousin of broccoli, but it's okay. not exactly a broccoli. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make some kale juice because that's where we're going to get all the nutrients we need, mm, detoxify yummy. ourselves, and it is the soul of the vegetable, okay? Mm. So let's start by making kale juice. Oh, I've never made vegetable juice before. Well, you're going to start somewhere. Okay, so for this, we're going to be using our Cornell juice extractor. Uh, it's a beautiful machine. Mm. Its capacity is 1.2 liters. So it's got a it's got a stop, low, high speed, and also a pulse function. It's also got safety protection with the rubber anti-slip mat mm. at the bottom. So you know it just it stays. Mm. So yeah, let's uh, let's start juicing. Right. I've never used a juicer, so you have to teach me. Okay, I will teach you. Okay, so so first of all, you just take this out, and this oh, is that's so you, cool. you I can hold that. This is Martha Stewart show. That's right. Okay, oh, so. You don't even have to cut the veggie. No, you don't. You don't. You can just sort of like you know just yeah. bend it, and you can stuff it in, that and you can time. just. Uh, do you have to add water? Uh, yeah, a bit later though. Okay. So you can do the orders and push it in. Oh, I do it. You can do it. Yeah. I do it. So I yeah. do it like that. That's right. So as you can see, it's extremely easy to use. It's also very safe. It's serum approved. And of course, you can get it on the e-store right now. So what are you waiting for? Get yourself a juice extractor so you can start making kale juice like me and Jasmine. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm having so much fun. That's awesome. See? <laughs> and it's fun. There you go. And you got yourself a very concentrated kale juice. Let's have a look at it. We need to cheers. Soon. Yes, we do. And we yes. should try it in some shot glasses. Okay. It's, like a, it's like a beautiful shot shot. All right. Perfect. All right. So instead of tequila, it's uh, kale juice. Kale juice. Mm. Oh my god, so healthy. I didn't I'm, know kale could taste. It's nice, right? It's not bad, right? It's actually it's not very. Bitter. It's not at all. Mm. It's nice and floral, but at the same time, it's got that small, slight uh, savory taste. Yes. You think, right? Yes, yes, yes. So, we're going to keep our kale juice because actually, Jasmine, that's not what this episode is about today. Oh, I thought the I'm done. No, 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 oh, not just no. yet. I mean, that was delicious, but I'm going to make you even something even more delicious. When we make juice with our juice extractor, the problem is we're always left with this leftover. Yeah, such a waste. Yeah, it's so wasteful. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make something quite special today, mm. which is something with the pulp and the husk of the kale, and we're going to turn it into a kale cracker. A kale cracker? That's right. You I've can never do it. heard of it. Is that your recipe or invention? No, well, you know, I think oh, people do it. A lot of people lot. make biscuits out of um, out of the husk. Mm. Uh, they also make, um, you know, little bits of cookies. They put it in their muffins oh, and things so like cool. that. But I like something crispy and like, 
Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And like, the color is so appealing. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're going to use our Cornell blender with Miller to make a paste that will come out as a beautiful kale cracker. Now, oh, so this is the Miller? Yes, that's right. This is the Miller. This I is the blender. This is called Miller. Oh, okay. I always call this sambal blender. Oh, ah. okay. It, it's true, yeah. Actually, Miller is the uh, matsalene. Fancy. Ah, uh, exactly. Okay. So that Miller, right. sambal blender. I uh, see, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Anyways, this um, sambal blender is a stainless steel blade. It's also got a, a safety lock function, so it's absolutely very, very safe. It's serum mm -hmm. approved. And it's also got a pulse function, which is very, very right. important. Though. So we're going to take out the... Mm, all the leftovers that we have, I'm just gonna dump it all in here. Oh. It's kind of like a apple tau, apple parsley, Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It just looks a bit like parsley, isn't it? And it looks like soil a little bit, but green color. You know, you can just decorate your garden with this. That's right. So you can put half in here, yeah. mm -hmm. and the other half we're gonna put it in your garden. Oh. So I'm just gonna bag this for you later. Thank okay, you. you're welcome. In you're the garden lah. You know, I do have a few basu bunga. <laughs> okay. You know, the flowers have uh, withered away, but okay. yeah, this could be, you know, yeah, you can decoration. Push. Yeah, more you know, soil, you know, more soil, you know, beneath the soil, so it won't smell. <laughs> <laughs> so what we need to do? Add in a bit of water. Oh, that's water. Yes, this I is see. water. Okay. What, olive yeah. oil. This, yes, a bit of oil. Okay. All right. So we can use any sort of measurements that we want, depending on individuals. Well, um, depending on, the, I mean, basically what I like to do is I like to aga aga. Whoa, that's okay. a lot. Yes, you need a lot because you're going to use this as the binding agent. This right. is what's going to make it like really nice and sticky. Okay. And surprisingly, not much, you know, flour. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely not much flour. So yeah, we just have to add a little bit more water as we are blending, mm -hmm. right? Should we get that paste going? <laughs> okay, the there we go. The color looks so interesting. That's right, so you're gonna get sort of like green, chippy sort yeah. of like thing. It's nice and thick. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to place it on the oh, in baking the tray. That's oh, okay. right. Because we don't have a dehydrator, but what we do have is our Cornell 40 litre oven. Okay, so to prepare the crackers, what you want to do is you want to brush some oil onto the um, baking tray. So you do you want it in patches or do you want it the whole thing? Yeah, just the whole thing. Very light, just so it doesn't stick. Oh, I love this. It's so therapeutic. It's like painting, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god, I mean, you're like I a little Picasso. Painting. That's beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm and very committed in what I do. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put the paste, right, onto the Oh, so board. like that only? That's right, just like this. Here's what you want to do is you just want to spread it out mm. really nice and thin. Yeah. Right? Tell you what, why don't you do that for me? Since Ooh, you yes. like to be all hands on of and stuff. Of course, yeah. Happy yeah, to yeah, have yeah. you do it. Yeah. And while she's doing that, let me tell you that this oven that's going to make our crackers is the Cornell 40 liter oven. It's got six heating selection modes, it's got an inner light, and it also comes with a rotisserie function. So if you want it to make roast chicken, you can. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And the accessories that it comes with is not one, but two baked trays, a grill tray, a crumb tray, as well as a tray handle. This is also an online exclusive product and you can only get it on the Cornell e-store. So what are you waiting for? Get yours now. Are you done here, Jasmine? No, 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 no. I, I think, Wait, I, think you've got, I think you've got a bit too much here. We've got oh, to spread really? it out quite evenly. Yeah, we might have to make two batches. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah, I no, see. No, 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 I thought all right. in one. I think, I think it's good so far, but we've got oh. to make it a lot more thin. Flat. Yeah, um, because otherwise it's going to take too long for it to cook. Oh, I see. Yeah. So now you can do the honours and cut it up with our pizza cutter okay. and make shapes for our biscuits. Oh, okay. So, like, for this, like, what's the texture like? Once it comes out, I think it'll be quite crispy. Do you, do you want it to be creatively cut? No, I think we should just go for strips. Okay. Nothing too All fancy, right. but of course, simply fancy. Simply fancy. Yeah. All right. I like it. I yeah. like the whole simple things. Exactly. You know? 
not much of a headache, you know, so much easier. Okay, so we're gonna put this into the oven for about 40 minutes at extremely high heat. That's 250. So let's just stuff that in. Right, there you go. So the Cornell 40 liter oven is serum approved, extremely safe to use. You can get yours exclusively online on the Cornell e-store. And the new warranty system with Cornell comes on the box itself so you don't have to go to the shop and do all sorts of like nonsense and have to keep your warranty paper. It's just as simple as clicking the QR code on the box. We're gonna come back and we're gonna make the second part of this dish which is La Salsa. Woo! Welcome back to Simply Fancy with Cornell and with me is the lovely Jasmine Soraya. Ah! Right, Jasmine, sekarang kita nak buat a very special dish. It's right. the dish yang kita akan makan bersama our kale chips which actually is already done. Now, Ooh, the, the thing is, is really nice. yes, it's nice and golden brown. It's greenish as well. Um, like I mentioned, Cornell's oven comes with Ooh. an accessory that helps you take your mm. oven tray out. Oh, so we're done already. This is pretty much done. We're just going to let it cool, Ooh. right? I think it's nice and crispy. So yeah. there's our biscuits. So while that cools down, we are going to make our salsa, mm. okay? Now, here's a little tip for you guys at home, okay? Please make sure that if you happen to come to a situation like ours where your food's already ready but you actually set it for 40 but it was done in 30, please make sure that you do not push your timer to zero because that will actually spoil the mechanism. Just allow it to naturally time itself back So you just zero. off the main switch, Just off it? the main switch and you're all good. For this salsa, we are using Cornell induction cooker which comes with one year warranty, 10 heating functions. You've got eight direct and fast cooking functions for selection and it comes with a stainless steel pot with a cover as an accessory. It's also serum approved, so safe to use. So you can buy it now on our Cornell e-store which comes with a very special promotion. Also, one thing awesome about Cornell right now is that you don't have to have a warranty card that you get to keep. All you have to do is scan the QR code and you are done. That's a Cornell thing. Simple things. I know, because it's a simpler life. Okay, so now let's start cooking something very simple, which is the salsa. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Uh, first of all, you can help by start heating up our pan. Turn it on. Oh, wait. Okay, so you see this number here? It means that it's not reading the pan that we are using. And it's because it's not flat. Oh, right. So yeah, we need a flat exactly. pan. Exactly. So what we need is actually a flat pan. I oh, think okay. I got this one. Yeah, Ta-da! It works. Okay, okay I'm cool. Pass you this one. What temperature do you want this to be? Oh, so are you gonna cut the stuff first? Yes, I am. I think okay. you can put it high. Oh, it's already oh, it's already oh, heating so fast. up. So fast. Fast, yeah. That's oh, really, wow. Normally really we good. always have to wait, you know. Exactly. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna cut this. this in quarters, right? Mm -hmm. And we're just going to put it here mm -hmm. and let this char. Okay. That's all we want to do. Okay. And then we're gonna cut the tomatoes in half and we're going to let them char as well. Actually, you don't have to cut the tomatoes in half. You're just going to put all of them in there and just let oh, them like char. Oh, like that. So it's going to be yeah. like like a full paste or like, you know, it has those like uh, chunks. It's going to be like a paste. Like sambal belacan. Oh, ah, kita nak tumis je. Oh, ah, tapi so dia fancy lah. Fancy lah. Sebab I apa? See. Sebab dia pakai jalapenos. Oh. Proper Mexican. You just have to cut the tip off. And then you just put it oh, in like there. Oh, like that? So it will melt? Uh, no, it won't melt. It will just brown. So you just leave it there. Mm. So now what we want to do is we want to start cooking, uh, start making our pico de gallo. Okay. So how do we do that is we're going to use our Cornell blender slash miller. So we open this right here. And we'll start putting this in. Just, just our bawang, right? So do we have to cook this inside there or nope. not? It? No, we don't. This is a very raw dish. So you just open this up right up here. Up here. Do you want me to garage this like a real chef? That's that's fine, that's fine. That's good. You can see it's already starting to turn black. Yeah, so that's good. So, fast. so you can just like turn it around for me and just make sure that yeah. it um 
Yeah, so there you go. You want the color, just leave it there. Leave it there? Yeah, so that the color comes out. So the pulse function is when you turn it, especially when you use a miller, it allows you to control your chunks, all right? It doesn't just turn and become like paste, it actually allows you to go chunks. So here we go, I'm gonna pulse it a little bit. There we go. Mm -hmm. Pulse. So, so you can see chunks, right? Mm. So it doesn't it doesn't turn in face. And there you go. Your mill is done. So fast. So you just take that. So what you do is just put it in this bowl, right? Because it's going to be part of your bigger salsa. So you take that and then now if you can do me a favor and cut the tomato into four. Okay. No problem, Razif. Thank you. For you, I will. Oh, thank you. All right, oh, you got to throw. To... Yeah, you're supposed to throw the top as well. Oh, Don't okay. worry, it's simply fancy. It's more fancy if you leave the top on, anyways. Okay, so you this want... one. Yes, that's right. So this, my friends, is the Cornell blender with Miller. That goes up to 1.5. Uh, liters. I am using the Miller right now. It has a stainless steel blade, comes with a safety lock function, and it has pulse action, which is awesome because we can make our pico de gallo. Perfect. There we go. Now we have a beautiful chunky tomato. Mm -hmm. and we just also put that in there. And of course, finally, the ta coriander. Mm -hmm. My favorite of coriander. I love coriander. It's really? Like, yeah, man. Coriander memang like the I best. I love cherry tomatoes. Yeah, cherry tomatoes is also like amazing. Layan, nak layan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cherry tomatoes. Orang cerita pasal coriander, dia cerita layan. Okay. So yeah, so it's just uh, last bit. Pulse your coriander. Okay, perfect. Doesn't need very long. So you just campur kat situ macam tu. Okay. So itu dia. Oh, you I love the colour. Pico de gallo. This is actually going to go in here. So sekarang, okay. apa yang boleh buat cut. is you can cut this in Potong, half eh? and then you can juice it into here. Okay. Okay. There you go. And mix it up. Now, our um, salsa is pretty much ready. Okay. So, kita boleh buat apa? Kita ambil semua ni. Oh, I see. It's supposed to be crunchy. That's right. So, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to put everything straight dalam blender. Right? Lepas tu, kita letak air sikit. Right? And, the other half of the lemon juice mm. dekat dalam ni. Oh, dekat dalam tu. Uh -uh. Sorry, I have to. I normally squeeze my lemon like that. It's okay. Okay, let me help you with this one. Whoa, that's strong, man. Okay, so we good. Does it. So you need, you just have to uh, like blend that. Blend I'm sorry, it, huh? Not blend it. You just um, have I to like gawo. Yeah, just mix it. And here. Turn this into really mushy salsa. Well, there you go. We're ready. We have our pico de gallo, we have our salsa, and we have our kale chips. Super easy, right? Mm -hmm. I told you it was easy because it's simply fancy with Cornell. Guys, make sure you get your products right now. They are serum approved, so they are super safe for you to use. All you have to do is go to the Cornell e-store where we have promotions. And remember, Cornell is so easy for you now. You don't even have to fill up a warranty card anymore. It all comes out of a QR code. So it's as simple as that. We're going to be right back with our meal. Bye! <laughs> Welcome back to Simply Fancy with Cornell and with me is Jasmine Zaraya. We are about to plate a beautiful array of dishes that we have made from our Cornell appliances, which is all serum approved, so super duper safe. They also come with very high tech warranties. You don't gotta like fill things up, keep it in your cupboard. Just a simple snap and it's right there for you. And how do you get this? You can just 
purchase it on the Cornell eStore, which is available for you at any time. So, are you ready to play? Mm -hmm. Are you hungry? I'm very hungry. Okay, let's do this. I've got this. my phone ready for the photos. Uh-huh, perfect. Okay, so speaking of photos, I am so Ooh. glad as to how this turned out. Some of it's a bit burned, but that's nice but because it's, it's nice because rustic. It's very like, yeah, yeah, very glaring. That's right. So you've got a bit of rustic going on. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to sort of like arrange that here. Mm -hmm. Oh, with the hands? Can uh, I? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Okay. So let's take the nice big strip. Some of it's already broken. Over here? But that's okay, yeah. So just arrange that nicely. But imperfect there. is perfect. So we've nicely arranged the chips. It's mm -hmm. good. It looks rustic. Mm -hmm. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, now, we can just plate our pico de gallo in here. Okay. Okay. That. I love the colours. I know. And you've got a perfect bowl. I know. This is going to be so nice on top of it. Yes. Okay. And finally, la salsa. Hmm. Okay, so you just take some and pour it in here. So just pour a little bit in there. Mm, I could smell it. Yummy. More, more, more. More? Yes. Oh yeah, okay. ladies. That's the one. Okay, there you go. This is your kale chips to be served with Pico de gallo and your salsa. And of course, we can drink it with our kale juice. So it's completely healthy, natural, no added preservatives. Just the way we like it. Just the way we like it. And now, for the most important part, taking a photo. You do it. Okay, Pula. Beautiful. Beautiful. Close up. Okay, there we go. So, um, I guess there's nothing left to do except for makai. So, how do we eat this? Do we apply this on top of our cracker? Absolutely. Here and then go. we dip here's it a, inside here? Here's a spoon. Okay. So, you ambit a cracker. cracker. Right? And then you just put that on top. Here. Right? You can try that first. Mm -hmm. Like this. Mm -hmm. and just eat it. Just go for Without it. dipping it? Without dipping it. So, you think of how you like it. Mm. You like? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So, I'll try that as well. I really like it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you don't even need salt. Mm. You don't even need salt or sugar. Thank you so much, Jasmine, for being here with me today. Thanks for having me. Ooh. No worries. I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed the um, dish that we made. Mm -hmm. And here you go, something for you to get a little fancy with Ooh. at home. And you guys can get fancy at home too with very safe serum approved products that have with very high tech warranty cards at that. And you'll find out more about that when you go to our Cornell e-store to purchase some of these products. Until then, it's Simply Fancy with Cornell and we'll see you some other time. Adios! This is actually really good. Mm, mm. I love it.